In our next install of Fusion Essentials, you could model this part feature by feature, or you could build it once and let Fusion do the work. In this video, we'll use mirror, offset planes, and lofting to model this part efficiently and keep it easy to edit. Let's get started. I'm going to start a new part. You can either do that by clicking the plus tab or from your home screen. You know how to get there now. Let's go ahead and use best practice and we'll save. This one we'll call it Lesson 5, and we're going to call it Mirror and Loft. So Lesson 5, Mirror and Loft, and then make sure it's in the Fusion Essentials folder. We'll go ahead and toggle the data panel just to save us some space. Now we'll start with Sketch, and I'm going to take our normal front plane, and I'm going to go with a rectangle, so a two-point rectangle right on the origin. I want the height to be 1, and I'm going to press the Tab key and make the length 2. So 1 by 2. I'm going to pan over just a little bit, and I'm going to draw another rectangle right here, on, coincident with the, the bottom right corner. I'll make the height be 0.5, then I'll tab over, and I'll make this dimension, the length of it, be 1 inch. I'll go ahead and extrude. So E for extrude. Click on both and make it one inch. So there we go, we've got that. Now, I'm gonna put a hole in here. So I'm gonna use the hole command, just like we've done before. Put it right in there. In this case, I need to set the references. So this is a little different than the last time. I'm gonna click reference here, so select, and I'll click this edge. And I'm gonna say, let's make that one inch from that edge. Then I'm going to click select on the other reference and I'll click the top or the bottom. It really doesn't matter. This will be 0.5 and I'll press enter. Now you'll notice that hole went away and I want that diameter to be different. So finally we get a chance to take a look at the bottom on our timeline. You see there's our original sketch. There's our extrusion and there's our hole. So I'm going to right click on the hole and say edit feature. And it pulls all that right back up for me. The diameter down here is 0.75. I want to see what that would look like at 0.5. And I'll press enter because that's where I want it to be. Right now, this is a brand new skill for us as well. I'm going to use an offset plane. Now this, is, this allows us to do some more organic geometry, if you will. So up here at the top where it says construct, the offset plane is the default. So if I just click the icon here, that's what I would get. But let's take a look. Let's click construct here and look at all these other planes we have a chance to look at. We also have some axes we can put in and some points. For now, let's just select offset plane. I'm gonna click the top of the staircase here. And I want to drag that up. Let's take that and drag it up 0.75 inches. Now I'm going to sketch. Well, let's rotate first just to see what we've done. So we've got a plane up on top of that. Now I'm going to go to sketch. And I'm going to click on the plane we just put in. Now I want this rectangle to be projected up there so it's going to help me out. So here's what's going to happen. Let me rotate this. You see right now I'm in a different space, right? That's the plane I'm drawing on. What I want to do is go to create and choose project and include or project. Now P is the default key for that and that is given to you by Autodesk. So you could just press P. And I'm just going to click on that rectangle. And do you see now how that projected up for me? So I put that, that same rectangle up in that space for me. Let me escape from rotate here and click OK. Now I am going to kind of square it up. I'm going to click the top button here from the front, from the uh, view cube. Now I'm going to take my circle. And what I would like to do is put a circle smack dab in the middle. Now watch this. Rather than dimension, I can kind of slide up here. And it, see how it gives me that triangle? Well, we know from geometric constraints, that's a midpoint. And I'll come up to the top, I guess. You can do the same thing at the bottom. Get that midpoint symbol and just kind of drag down. And when I get in, now that I've marked those, do you see how it's giving me the extents? That's what those are called, those, those dotted lines or those dashed lines. 
Now I can click and draw a circle. And this circle, we want to be 0.5. So now I'm gonna click Finish Sketch. I may have to rotate this, but you can see what it's done. Now the purple is still usable, but we don't actually need it this time. So I have rotated, so I'm gonna press Escape to get out of Rotate. I'm gonna to go to Create, and I'm gonna choose Loft. So Loft allows us to combine geometry that are, that are in different planes. So I'm gonna click Loft. Let's bring this over here. There's really not much to this for now. But I'm going to click this profile, so the, the rectangle. And then I'm going to click the circle itself. Notice that's black. And if I, if I ooze out here, everything, so that would click everything. I just want the circle. And when I do that, that's going to, that's going to do what I wanted it to do. So I'm going to click OK. Now, I don't know if you remember, but in the opening, this was on both sides. So a new feature for us as well is to mirror. So we're gonna to go to create, and we're going to choose mirror. It's about three quarters down as well. So mirror. For this one, we can actually use, we can use bodies, because we're gonna do everything. If we wanted to just get certain things, we could say instead of bodies, we could say features. We're gonna leave it at bodies for now, and just click on that. Mirror plane, we'll click select, and I'm gonna click right here on this, this uh, right face. And when we do that, and I click OK, it'll mirror everything for us. So it saves us a lot of time. We'll go ahead and apply a property, so physical material. And for this one, we're going to apply brass. So we'll just drag brass over and click Close. And then just to verify, we'll right click and we'll say Properties. So we can get those physical properties. And there those are. That would be what we want to show our teacher. Now, before you leave, don't forget to save.